first line? Yep. All right. There's now. Boom. I was rambling. You didn't you want me to you? ramble. You didn't want me to ramble anymore. No, but you didn't yet, so. Talking about shaving. Finish telling me the story. I can't. Nobody's watching. There's, it's recorded. <laughs> it could, it's private stuff. All right. Nobody's Scott, in yet. Yeah. Scotty Swing, V Rich. Woohoo! People probably start popping. This is our first Monday. Impromptu in a month. Impromptu for a while. I was out at the beach in Tampa and hanging out there. I don't think we've done one at least since before 12 Hours of Boom. No, no, no we did the Tullamore Dew 12. Was that after the 12 Hours of Boom? Mm -hmm. No, because you left. And came right. Back. Yeah. After that, we haven't done one since the boom. Wow. So, what are we doing today? Daniel Willis is back down in Oklahoma City. Look at that. He Look. came out, met us Friday night. Whiskey Jason's you. here. Christopher Malloy. Well, I mean, when I say us, I mean me and yeah, Whiskey I wasn't Scout there. Swami. I wasn't there. It was actually the day before my birthday, and I knew it was going to be like a get home late, and the wife had some things planned, and then. The whole next day was birthday Saturday stuff, and I was out till one or two in the morning. I would have been in trouble, mm. and I'm too old to party that late. Mm. <laughs> so what are we doing? We're doing the well, single cast nation Lafroy five year independent bottler. We uh, from the uh, Jewish Whiskey Company. We shot a few episodes, and we, did. we didn't do a single peated whiskey. Bart was feeling neglected. Yep, left out, sad. I said, how about if we do the uh, five-year Lafroy from Lafroy Single Cask Nation? Five-year. I love young Pete's. You can give me a young Pete, really punch me in the face, hit me with a dirt clot of Pete, do whatever you got to do. I like it. Go Habs has got you nailed down. Thank you. 57.9%. What did Go Habs say? Hey, dummies. Well, I agree. No. Oh, hold on. I'm looking down. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Mm -mm. Okay, still not that one. Sorry. It's called being P-whipped. Definitely. <laughs> so I went and read every entry that Go Habs <laughs> put in there before I hit the right one. Mm. That's what happens. That's what happens. Uh, Tim Dietrich says he hasn't been able to catch any of these impromptu Ooh, lives recently. Well, no, we haven't catching. done any. No, we haven't done one recently. It was probably the uh, July 7th was the 12 hours of boom, and it was the week before that probably was the last time we did one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so this is uh, Willis. At least you own it, Bart. I own it, baby. Everything about it, I own it. <laughs> uh, single cast nation, smaller independent bottling. We did a live stream mm. uh, with them. We talked, looked at some of the whiskeys. They're doing mm -hmm. a great job. Oh, they do the whiskey Jubilee spelled Jew Jubilee. Uh -huh. uh, they're the Jewish whiskey company. And then they do the single cast nation stuff. So this is, so this is one of 312 bottles. Yeah. It's a five year Lafroig, 57.9%. Nose on this is Lafroig P. Now I'm surprised smoke. though that the bottle hasn't been hit more than that. Mm, you must be savoring it. Maybe, maybe. Woo. Yeah. Hey, good. John Marr, Whiskey in the Six. By the way, if you haven't checked out, you don't have to be a subscriber to, excuse me, that's one of the unique things about uh, Single Cast Nation. And here's the beautiful thing about it. It's $10 shipping, whether you do one bottle, two, three, mm. four, five, six. Sometimes they only have about five offerings available anyway but it really makes you layer on the extra bottles because it's 10 bucks shipping no matter what. I want to point out my wife, the Puerto Rican, just got home. I believe she came home oh. from a big box Sam store and I'm getting out of helping to unload the mm. groceries because we're live. Good. Just throwing it out there. Yeah. There may be some noise though. Mama always said good things would happen. <laughs> uh, Lock News is tuning in. Brian Schultz just came in. Whiskey Jason. Yeah, Whiskey in the Six. Press is Man. In. I get like a, almost like a Glenfiddich pear in really? with a Freud Pete. Nice citrus sweetness. Okay. I don't know. Well, I mean, I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd call it pear myself. Um, Gosh, how do I describe this, the nose? I mean, it's got a Lafroig peat smoked nose, but you're right. It feels like there's more to it. I get a maltiness layered in there as well. Yeah. 
Yes, so, Scotty Swing says he used his whiskey hat for the first time this weekend. Oh, sweet. Uh, appreciate the delivery. You betcha. Thank you, Scotty, for supporting us. By the way, I'm, you kind of picked this shirt out. I do love our stamp shirt, and it shows up great in the blue. In fact, is I we ought to use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. I like that that shade of blue and that. Uh, well, pops. that stamp is actually my favorite of the new designs, and it's really warmed up for me too. Mm -hmm. Four five seven is the coin for this live impromptu. Four five five. I've got to get caught up on posting uh, with the birthday I just had and everything. I haven't posted to uh, to Patreon, so I'm going to do like a three show dump here soon. Mm. 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 Smooth, creamy. You know, there's a definite mint or a clove. Okay. I get a heavy too. maltiness with the peat smoke. Very nice peat. Very heavy peat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, those of you that don't know, Bart likes his Pete Young. Love it. So this Love is it. right up his alley. Yeah. The longer you age Pete, the more subtle the Pete flavor becomes. Hence, I like a youthful Pete. Uh, the eight-year Lagavulin, case in point. When I saw they were doing a five-year Lafroig, insta-buy, baby. Insta-buy. Mm -hmm. Raster just tuned in. Howdy, Raster. No Raster. Shouting. There's no shouting. Raster. Raster. No shouting. Uh, la, 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 la. What else is going on? Mm. It was too short. Only about five-minute meet and greet. Mm. Oh, we got rain coming in. Well, Said it was going to storm, and it's storming right now. Hopefully, we don't lose power. Uh, yeah. And we're going to get some rocking and rolling thunder Ooh. already starting to roll in. Mm. If we lose that's power, that'll be the end of the impromptu show. You know, even at 57.9%, that's delicious. I know. I love it. I'm going to add a little water to it. What probably the most unique thing I get here is I'm not used to getting as much as the, of the malty flavor with the Laphroaig that I get here. And I believe it's present because of its youth. Uh, Mike uh, Lysak, Lysak says I, he bought the nine-year-old English after our review. Should this mm. be his second? It's single should. cast nation purchase. Yes. If they still have it available. Actually, you're second. I think they do. And, I, and you've bought a couple. Yes. This one. Where'd it go? What are you looking for? The uh, 13 or the 14 year. There's one over Port there. Charlotte. This yep, one. There's that. That's gone, though. This. Oh, yeah. This went in like 15 minutes. They did. It's a 14 year old Port Charlotte aged in uh, Oloroso hogshead, mm -hmm. heavily peated. And look at the color of that. Mm -hmm. It was one bottle per customer. You got one. I got one. Right. We tasted yours. I haven't opened mine right. yet. Right. This is killer. Absolute killer. Um, what else we got back there? We got the Catoctin Creek. I say it wrong. See you, Rob. Thanks for coming in. Catoctin. Catoctin. Uh, oh, you know what else you would like? The Glen Murray 12. Yeah, try that. Yeah, that, that, that is good. Mm -hmm. That is good, too. Just look at the difference of a 14 year Port Charlotte in the mm -hmm. Hogshead to the five year Lafroig. Mm -hmm. Juicy. Juicy. I see like particles in that Lafroig too. Look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's like, there's I'm sure it doesn't show up on screen, suspended. but yeah, there's yeah. like, uh, it's like uh, little bits of dust when you see it. In the, yep. A lot. In, yep. When you see it's it nice. in the sun. That means it's natural. Yeah, that's right. It has not been chill filtered. <laughs> Love it. God, we're really getting a good rain right now. Uh, Tom R. says that that 14-year PC is not a beginner scotch. Mm -hmm. I would agree. If you are a beginner and you bought this, you should send us the bottle. <laughs> it could possibly make whiskey of the year for us, however. Ooh. There are some great, great potential out there this mm -hmm. year. This has been a great year for whiskey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Gohab says Bart likes his Pete like his women, young. Ooh, I don't know about that. Actually, the young ones kind of. I'm getting too old. I couldn't keep up. I take that any way you want. <laughs> uh, Tornadoes? No, not. we're not quite in tornado season yet. It's oh yeah, little, we are. Uh, it's got to be a little July. cooler. Uh, it's got to be a little cooler. It's usually that that mix of the hot air and the cold air coming at the same time. Spring and fall is when the tornado seasons hit. But, hey, you lived in this longer than me. I'll give it to you. 
I like the story when you're at work. Now, Bart's a supervisor. <laughs> and so one of his subordinates one day had, had brought up there was tornado warnings mm -hmm. and they wanted to know what the, there had to be a plan. Yeah. What he wanted the like the plan? specific written down plan. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he goes, what's the plan if it comes in? I said, the plan is uh, we're, we're mobile. So the plan is you don't want to be in it. <laughs> it's daylight. So you can see it coming. You want to be too. North and west of it, because they're almost all, or the south and west. You're of an it. adult. <laughs> you're a grown man. You're a grown man to so figure it out. He wanted it written out, and I'm like, "There's really no written out. It could be." But your little, boss, then. Oh my God! Yeah, your boss. We're gonna. You're gonna get me in trouble. Kind of inadvertently <laughs> slams him. Said. So, Put your big boy pants it on. Says, well, no, it <laughs> says that's okay. My six year old daughter is scared that's of right. tornadoes, too. That's right. I think it was eight year old son. My eight year old son is scared of tornadoes. <laughs> yeah. Too. And he was like, the, the troop was like, huh? I'm like, wow. <laughs> and then later, I'm like, did you do that on purpose? And she, it's a, and she was like, what? And I go, that was a hard slam. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you compared him to your eight year old, which wasn't wrong. Mm. You never know. A tornado could be a thin little rope tornado where it's doing like 50 feet of damage, or it could be a mile wide swath that's taken out a town, and you just don't know. And the only way you know her is by the spotters or the uh, LEOs, the law enforcement or the first responders that are calling it in. So you can't really have a plan for that. You got to adjust. Uh, we should kid about a peated for Bart from Puerto Rico. Wife is from Puerto Rico. I missed it. Was there more to that from Raster? I came in mid sentence. Uh, shelter in place plan. Yes. I will tell you this. They used to tell you, get out of your car and lay down in a ditch. That's out. Oh. Yeah, that used to be in. Now they say stay in your car. You're better off inside well, yeah. your car because it's, always a, it's a protective yeah, shell. Yeah, why leave the protection of, of the at shell. least a steel yeah, frame? And glass. <laughs> yeah, now if you get picked up 100 and 200 feet, you're probably in trouble. But you still got an airbag deployment system, yeah, <laughs> crumple bell. zones. Yeah. <laughs> if you see a cow rotating around with you, you'd be like, dang, we're in trouble. I wouldn't have ever thought, okay, there's the tornado. Let's get out of yeah, the car. And lay in the ditch. And lay in the ditch. No. Right. Let me, then the telephone pole comes whipping through. Ooh, it hit the ditch area where I'm at. Not good. Not good. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mike Lissack is is nailing it. What did he say? If only there was a peated Puerto Rican board game about manga shirts. Wow. They do have a game called Puerto Rico. It's not that. I don't like it. It was number one for a while, but I'm not a fan. Sorry. <laughs> it's not peated, though. It is called Puerto Rico. Then they had a spinoff card game called but, San Juan, which is the city. Too much? Do go to Single <laughs> Cask Nation online check them out they don't there's no membership required <laughs> uh there's several the thing is that they don't have a large selection it's not like they have mm -hmm. pages and pages of whiskey right it's usually through. five to six bottles maybe 10 at the most right uh, and they're a lot smaller but they're doing a, a wonderful job uh and like bart said ten dollars shipping right unbelievable no matter if it's one bottle or ten it's ten dollars shipping the, the probably the big thing is, is once you've registered and purchased something from them, you'll get little heads up like, hey, in two days, we're releasing this bottle and you'll only be able to buy one. Mm -hmm. When you get that notice, you know that those aren't going to be on the shelf for very long. So you can come in and get some real unicorns. That's the uh, unbelievable nature of yeah. it. Yeah. And then, yeah, they'll send you the email when they're available and the like this one, like I think within 30 minutes or 45 minutes was sold out. Yeah, but it's an immediate login and purchase. Your stuff's already set up. If you bought one already, you get it. Uh, be so that quite one honest. is uh, 264 bottles, and it's bottled at 60.2%. Mm -hmm. That's the 14-year uh, Port Charlotte that's been aged in Oloroso hogsheads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, so what do you get from, a, from an independent bottler? Unique unicorn you'll never most of the time see it again um and that's as you get deeper into the whiskey experience sometimes that's what i'm looking for is you know what this is unbelievable i don't 
I don't, uh, I don't fret if I miss a bottle, but if I have a shot at a bottle, I'll take the shot. Mm. I mean, I'm not always like, Ooh, I wish I had that. Like I love the right. Arbeg supernova committee release. I'm probably not going to see that. Maybe someday I'll get a taste of, or we have had a sample of it, but I don't fret over it. It's great, but there's great stuff coming in the future. So don't ever fret. Whiskey's always got a tomorrow. That's a shirt. Look at that. Whiskey's always got a tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Bourbon Shenanigans wants to know where you find those shirts. Hmm. LOL. He doesn't really want to know. Which shirts? I think he's talking about the manga shirts. Oh, the mangas? No, he wants to know. Our okay. shirts, our shirts, you can go to scotchtestdummies.com mm -hmm. and hit the merch site, and then you can you can buy them off there. Coins. Oh, or uh, check out uh, the events tab. We've got our fifth anniversary birthday gathering in Wichita coming up October 19th. That's and new. You started calling it the birthday gathering. It's our fifth birthday anniversary, anniversary. slash birthday. Yeah. It's a whiskey hangout that you could wear bib overalls to and be completely welcome and comfortable all at the same time. Well, you know what, what I bring is you see all these Whiskey Fest Chicago, Whiskey Fest New York, and they kind of play up the black tie, the fancy dress. Now, of course, those are big organized events. If you want to wear bib overalls, Scott, you're welcome. <laughs> you bet. You bet. You got Gramanimals. Gramanimals? Yeah. In a show we just filmed, he brought up that we should – we should put together like numbered clothing. So this one goes with this one can be worn with that one hat. And I said, actually, you're on to something there. We could sell that dummies attire fits right in. <laughs> you just match the number and you got it. It's good. You're reading comments. Uh, oh, but you have to cover the pickle. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Whiskey cover Jason. the pickle. Have I told the story about the pickle? You're yeah. right. That was early. What show was that? What bottle were we reviewing? Talisker. Ooh, that's a good one. If you guys haven't seen that one, go back and watch the Talisker episode. Talk about covering the pickle. Well, we were just talking about covering the pickle too with uh, photos that people send in for Patreon. They got to be clothed, not sure. said, or mostly clothed. Cover the pickle. They got to at least cover right. the pickle. I tell that story to nurses though when they've had a rough day. <laughs> Susie, I think he's talking about a drape. I'm like. Mm -hmm. um v rich is wanting to know if the single cask nation and the smws ship to every state because it's a club um mostly i believe i, I hate to say yes on that yeah, i, I believe know their rules i know well i know texas is pretty much a state that cannot you cannot ship alcohol into or, mm. or out of really? and i don't know if that applies to the scotch malt whiskey since i have i believe it does I don't think they can get any shipments of alcohol to private residences. Man, and Texas allows almost everything. Yeah. You'd think they'd have that going on. Hmm. Well, it's all, all right. right. Let's uh, wrap it up. Wrap it up. You think? Keep going. Uh, the best whiskey is always the next one. I agree, Bird Dog. Uh, dummies attire is usually what I'm wearing at any given time. That's a good point. I don't know if that would help us sell anything. Pickle Rick. From bourbon shenanigans and yeah let's wrap it scotch it you scotch guys thanks everybody that tuned in we appreciate it yeah impromptu so you dummies, dummies. <laughs>